Welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. When last we left off, we had taken out Chill Penguin, and I forgot to see what the really good uh, way to go around the game was. Okay, that's still working good. One sec, folks. Order. I apologise. I forgot to do this beforehand, and that's my fault. If I'm correct, this flame mammoth, and not monmouth, as I called him when I first went through my attempt at this. Oh no! Wait, oh right. Uh, Okay. I see. Okay, so next one is suggested is Spark Mandrill. Who is uh That's is that Spark Mandrill thing has to get? Let's try and take this guy out. Ba 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 da ba ba da da save. Okay. Get myself back to use using these controls. Blast, jump, okay got it. Okay. Health! Yay. So, gimmick of this level. It will use electricity. My god, a character called Spark uses electricity. Who would have guessed? Okay. Die. Okay. Come on, attack me. Yep, you failed. And you're dead. So yes, currently we are facing, well, the evil Spark Mandrel stage. Which is just a factory of ultimate death. Ow. I jumped into that. But yes. Oh, I have a cool verse. Yep, biscuit. They're gonna be down. Basically, the git who's uh, currently flying and using light is a git who flies and uses light to kill people. I don't really know much else about this goit, except that, well, apparently I can dodge him really well. And also, weird, all the long, uh, ostrich looking things. I don't know either. I don't think I'll ever know. It's just that Sigma and all his cronies seem to like the concept of really, really, really stupid enemies. Okay, mini boss time. Okay, as I said, somewhat silly enemies. Dash, 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 dash. Ow. There you go, enemy's dead. I do not know what that was. But I did get energy from it. And charging, because I think uh, the thing who who uh, use that use that weird light attack is going to attack again soon. I've never gotten this far in to Spark Mandrel's stage, by the way. Last time I tried this, I went to well, as I said, Flame Mammoth, who was strikingly easy. In fact, I found ah, that was too close. A second too late. I would have been a Mega Man sandwich. Dash, 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 dash. This is, oh crap. Get. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Also, a uh, second favorite theme from this game is Spark Mandrels. 
First one being Sting Chameleon, who will be fighting soon if I'm right. Ah, Biscuit. Can't wait to fight Sting Chameleon. Most of you guys I said I love his theme. Nothing else, just a theme. Ah, crap baskets. That is quite some bits of- I say it's quite some bits away, no it's not. Dash, dash, dash. Save. Again, as I said, I want to see if I get through it. See what happens if we get through a game without losing a single life. Because I still haven't researched that and it's been a week. I am in fact recording this today, I am uploading it because I got new internet and the internet I've got now isn't absolutely appalling. Oh, go me. Sorry about this, folks. If I were good at, well, challenging games, I'd probably be good at challenging games. Also, can't be bothered to go through this again. I need, I want to get through Saturday games rather swiftly. Oh. That's quite overpowered. I did not know I could shoot through walls. Go me. Go me. Hold what beam. And that's that dealt with. Save. I have got two energy bars. Good. Can I still change? Yes, I can. So if I press the right trigger, I can change into my alternate attacks. Oh, glory. That's just sort of cheap. And you're dead. That's fun. Ah! Cheat! Nothing but cheat. And that's two for the price of one. This is really, really cheap. Using cheap things to kill your enemy? It's like this villain's being smart. Change to ice, because supposedly that's the weakness. Come on, get. Okay. I should have done that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow at least a death on this boss because I have two, I have two energy bars. Oh yeah, can't skip. I've been playing Dark Souls rather recently. Oh, I did not know that move, but I did notice that that did in fact do a decent chunk of health. Let's try this again. I do like how it's instant I can change my two things. That's really useful and it's a nice palette swap on the uh, swap on the character. Oh, this is completely abusing everything. Cock up there. My own fault. Yay! That was complete and utter abuse. On you know, from Mega Man to Spark Mandrill. 
Ding. Use your teleportation. You can't just use to go kill Zygma. Zygma, Sigma. You got electric spark. Having now beaten Spark Mandrill, Mega Man goes to kill Armored Armadillo. I'm gonna presume it's this Armadillo looking fellow. Save game. You're still not threatening. Seriously, none of these enemies actually look threatening so far. They just all look sort of chubby. Oh my god, this is slowing down so much. Oh crap, basket. Dash. Help, I don't need. Ow. There we go. Energy, I don't need. And energy. Uh, not energy. Well, the last energy was just for my weapons. Oh! Hello there. Oh, that was an instant death. Git. Okay, I want to see if I can kill this git now. Let's see if ice helps. Oh my god, that is a pain, but there's obviously going to be some goodies behind him. Jesus Christ! Dash. Not dealing with this right now. Can't destroy that. Oh my god, get. Changing back to regular attack. Ow. Oh, I just realised. Oh yeah, I can just double tap uh, left and do a dash. Oh my god, that boosts. That doesn't boost my health, but it does. I think that boosts my. Uh, oh, just say. Oh my god, these things. I recall seeing a Dorkly video about those. I need to be watch up that. In fact, thinking on it. Die. Ah, oh, always get one hit off, I've realised. They're gonna be that enemy of the game, the one that you just don't like. Die. Oh, ugh. Oh, no, 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 you don't. There you go. Goit. Oh, you didn't hit me that time, did you, Git? Oh, God damn it. Elf. Lovely. Ah, oh, you've got hit there. Oh, yes. Two for one, because I'm terrible at video games. Oh. That thing looks so silly when it moves, by the way. The one of the weird construction hats. So, demolishing everything in my path! Huh. Slide. Ow.
I need to get up there, I realise. I'll come back. Later. I think I might go, uh, like, collect all the uh, extra items off screen and just, like, make a short video on how I got them all. Because, well, I don't know if it'll be entertaining or not to see me go through all the videos. Also, so much slow down. That was... No, no, no! Oh, crap, baskets. Thank God I saved! I was just take down these birds as they're flying through the sky, and I got through. Da -da 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 Time to abuse my electric powers. Ow. Oh my god, that thing is so powerful. Okay, Armadamadillo. This time I will not fail because I have time reversal powers. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, crap baskets. That's my bad. I saved at the wrong place. Oh crap. I have no electric charge on this thing, I realize. I did not know I passed over after death. Okay, let's try it again. This time, don't fail. Okay, I can do that. Let's try not. Uh, seriously, I'm not very good at this fight. Most fights, in fact. Yeah, good, good. I thought you were gonna try and buy you me. Okay. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Ah! Come on, don't do this. Don't do this. Jesus Christ. Okay. Save. Jesus Christ, yeah, this is just me cheesing every boss. Welcome to me playing video games I don't understand. 
You should see me try and play final any Final Fantasy game. It's just a bunch of safe stakes and me failing. <laughs> Thank god this game doesn't have a timer. <laughs> Seriously, thank god this game doesn't have a timer because... Ah, crap, ask us. I must commend you on your efforts. If you weren't fight facing someone who could reverse time, I'm pretty sure you'd be a... You know, I'd be a good adversary, but I can reverse time for the most bullcrud of powers. Seriously, I'd hate to have a... I'd hate to be the arch nemesis of someone who had the superpower of reverse time because... You physically could just not win. It's like in Doctor Who. You could, I mean, he could technically reverse all the deaths. He's basically been the sole victim, uh, not victim, sole culprit of. But you know, time travel's a really, really hard thing to try and write into a story because, like, it can be abused in so many ways. I found how I'm going to abuse this. Yeah, this is... This is super cheesing. And... Ah! You! There we go. Get good, enemy. And by get good, I mean also have time reversal powers. Time reversal powers activate. Yay, I completely cheesed a boss fight! Da -da, da -da. Ding. Da -da 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 you got rolling shield. Da -da 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 cheesing every boss fight. What's next on the agenda of Complete Massacre? Launch octopus. Is it this octopus? I'm guessing looking fellow. I'm gonna try and at least kill him. I've still got, what, seven minutes? Oh, that is super, that is really not threatening at all, really. Jesus Christ. I do know basically all the music from this game, though, I've got to say. Oh, go me! <laughs> also go me! Literally jumped into the... Come on. There you go. Jump. Oh, health. Oh crap, baskets. Don't try and kill me, please. Ah, and I lost a health as well. That's annoying. Yep. Thank god- oh, it's the water stage. Should've guessed. At least Mega Man is a machine and therefore should completely be demolished by all this, you know, water. Jesus! I have literally a- okay, there we go. Although he does move like he- he does jump like he's on the moon. I guess there isn't as much- yeah, but he'd have like an amount, immense amount of weight. I don't know how he's jumping this high. Okay, so he's got literal snakes acting as if they're playing snake. There we go. Ooh, extra life. That's convenient. Da 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 Yeah, don't eat me. It's really incredibly rude. By that I mean don't do it. This is really yeah, just skip past you all. Yeah, die. You'll suck. Crap. Crap. Yep, my own fault there. 
because I fail. Get to really good. There we go. Huh, I am really not good at this. Seriously, I don't know why I sort of convinced myself to play a game. But I knew I probably wasn't going to be very good at because I, I knew that Mega Man has a reputation of being incredibly hard to play. Because it, well, it's challenging. And I guess it's probably really annoying absolutely everyone that I'm playing this game, you know. Yeah, you know, play this game with an immense amount of save staging, but I'm terrible, so I don't really know what else to say. Except that I'm terrible. Ah, god damn it. Oh my god. This is hell. The only way jump, being able to jump like you're on the moon is... Save. Ow. Ow. Jesus Christ. I don't know how I'm going to get past this bit. Oh. Like that. Damn it. I think I was onto something there. Jesus Christ, that's turned that game into... That took the game to a whole new level of absolute hell for itself. Oh, the SNES. Being completely unable to control its own video games. More specifically, emulators. Because emulators, if you didn't know, technically the way they're designed is because they're... Well, they're software designed to emulate hardware, which is why it's so in... Well, that's why it, to actually fully emulate an SNES, it would take an in stupid amount of processing power, because it has to literally act as if it's that piece of hardware. Which, if you didn't know, is an incredibly hard thing for a computer to do. Not only because a computer is completely... Well, it's incredibly stupid, because it can literally on, on, only understand one and zero, but, well, it's using something that's already in the computer uh, to make it basically be com something completely different. If you get what I'm saying, I don't know. Probably don't. Um. Oh! Hello, mini boss, I didn't even know you were there. I don't know how to feel about this. I just like use electricity to horribly murder you. That's quite horrifying. Also, really nice animation. I'm being genuine now. For an SNES game! Hello, bird! I oh, know what's your name, Jeffrey. Your name's Jeffrey now. <sighs> Jesus Christ day. Okay. So it's even Mega Man is huffing and puffing at this. Ow. Come on. I can do this. Sort of. I can sense this is going to be somewhat tedious. Let's see what ice does to this thing. Save. Okay, so my energy bar just had a bit of a 
well, seize you there for a second. Don't know if you saw it on recording. Don't know how it would come out in recording, but it did sort of flash and die horribly. We have to. We have to kill our octopus so that we can take out a Sigma for some reason. I mean, I guess the main reason for us to go through all these is to get all the powers and become incredibly strong enough to take on him. I don't see how we technically... I wonder what the mechanics would be for Mega Man to just sort of kill something and suddenly gain its abilities. Like, such a power is comp I don't know. That seems... Is it dead? Or is it just... Oh no, it's just floating. I think it's on some sort of second stage now. Sort of second stage that's easier to hit. Also, now playing this after... Oh. Oh, I thought I could have done that, because I was sort of hanging on to it. Wait a sec. Oh, I can attack his back as well. Okay, that makes this incredibly easier. Also, Jesus Christ. I'm to abuse the fact I can hit its butt. Don't kill me, please. I don't know if I'm actually doing damage to this thing. There. There we go. Finally killed it. Oh god, don't crush me. Energy. Lovely. Ah, uh, you gets again. I gotta say, I've always launch Octopus seems to be the most well prepared out of the lot. But well, now I'm fighting him. And I've realised that I have basically ran out of time. I really feel like I should beat this boss at least. What? Uh, should have guessed. This is his weakness. Let's see if I can abuse it. Like I have all the other ones, because I'm a goit. You are really not threatening, man. I pressed two instead of one. Come on, launch octopus. There you go. Damn it. I just press save instead of load. God damn it. Go on, I'll give myself like five more minutes to try and beat this kit. I have two free energy bars on this. Damn. This is why, as I've said many times before, I should not play video games I don't know how to play. That seems to be a common trend for me playing games I'm completely blind to. First Mystic Quest, and now. Now this. Come on, I'm using electricity underwater. Surely such an attack should be, uh, like, your weakness or something. Dash, 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 dash. And I'm dead. Okay, so next time, folks. 
Next time I'll try and kill this kit. I probably won't kill this kit. I have one extra life remaining. Fun. I apologize for being absolutely appalling at this video game. See you next time, folks. See you next time in killing Launch Octopus, the most unthreatening villain I've faced so thus far with his weird floppy tentacles. If this were Lovecraft, he'd be terrified. See you next time. Bye. I press save. Bye.